Hello everybody, today we're going to be doing an unboxing and overview of the AS Rock Z75 Pro 3 motherboard. A little bit around the packaging here, you can see it's a Z75 chipset, which means it allows the overclocking for graphics cards and processors. It supports the Intel Core series processors, the LGA1155. Look at the back, it, it, uh, it advertises extreme fast RAM, it optimizes the memory better apparently. It also says it has five times better latency on the LAN port, so it's better for online gaming. And the USB speeds are supposedly faster than other competition. The AS Rock Z75 motherboard is an ATX motherboard. It's a full-size ATX motherboard. Uh, a little bit of the motherboard, the LGA 1155 socket. It supports the second and third generation of the Intel Core i3, i5, i7. Now we got a little bit of the intro out of the way. Let's open it up here. Got a sheet here. Uh, it, basically, what the packaging is it explains all the better parts of the motherboard: the uh, faster LAN ports, the USB ports, and faster RAM speeds. First, you have your quick setup guides, your software setup guide here, and that kind of sets up everything in terms of your BIOS and configurations. So that's right there. And then you have your quick installation guide uh, inside here. It's got a little map of your motherboard, all the ports on it, as well as your driver CD. It really goes into what the ports are, you know, how to plug everything in properly, and particularly the front panel points. That really goes into heavily in this. And it's very documented very well, and it's a bunch of different languages. Got your I.O. shield for the back of the motherboard to put on your case. It comes with two SATA cables. It comes with one 90 degree uh, SATA cable, meaning it it's like this, you plug it in, helps with cable management a bit, and as well as another just normal SATA cable. Alright, so now, get all that out of the way, we have the motherboard itself. You can see it's in the anti-static wrapping. Uh, very important when you start touching your motherboard to make sure you get rid of all the static charts that you may have. To do that, just simply touch something metal. I have my computer case just off to the side here, and that will discharge any static electricity you have. Take the motherboard out here. Right there. Let's set it up. Let's take it out of the wrapping. Again, discharger, electricity here. You can see the motherboard itself is also a nice foam casing, kind of protecting the edges and allows you to handle it pretty easily without having to touch uh, the components. This makes it really easy to show off as well. So here we go, here's a look at the panel here. You can see all the different parts. Right up top we have the PCI Express 2.0 times one So right here we have the uh, PCI Express 3.0 times 16 slot. So that'll take advantage of your newer generation uh, graphics cards that use uh, PCI 3.0. So yes, it will fit the bigger graphics cards. Below that, we have a PCI 2.0 times 16. So you can SLI graphics cards here. Uh, one will be a little bit faster than the other one, but they're both, you know, at least 2.0. That's great for uh, SLI or uh, Crossfire. And below that, you have two more PCI slots. You can see at the top of the motherboard, you have your four RAM slots here. The motherboard supports up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. DDR3 up to 2800 plus, you can overclock it as well. So the motherboard is great for uh, RAM speeds. If you're doing a lot of video rendering, for example, one you, you need a lot of memory. It's a great motherboard for that. We have two uh, SATA 3 6 gigabit per second ports. And then down here we have four more SATA ports. Those are the uh, 3 gigabit per second ports. It's a 24 pin power connector for the power or for the power for the motherboard and it is an 8 pin processor power connector. And speaking of which, here is the processor plate. Uh, it is the LGA 1155 again. For the outputs, you have the legacy PS2 port. You have two USB 2.0 ports the output VGA and HDMI, but if you're using a dedicated graphics card, you won't be using these. You have two USB 3.0 ports. You have your Ethernet port, two more USB 2.0 ports, and your full 
uh, audio, all six audio ports. And again, we mentioned uh, the ton of USB support. You can see on the bottom here, you have a ton of USB uh, connections available. That's pretty much the basics of the motherboard here. So if you have any questions about the motherboard, feel free to leave a comment. I'll try and get back to you. I've been pretty good with it, but lately I've been getting pretty busy. Uh, I will be installing this motherboard in my existing computer. Uh, my old motherboard here had a really bad day during an electric storm. I don't know exactly what happened, but I, it fried when I was gone storm chasing, actually. I had it on, and that was my fault. So, the motherboard didn't survive. So I had to replace it, but hopefully the motherboard is the only problem. I, I think I've ruled everything else out. So thanks for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. So after the installation of the motherboard, and I've been running it for about a week now, uh, I want to give some input about the um, motherboard here. Um, some little things I didn't notice. Uh, for example, the SATA ports on here, instead of like being off at a right angle to the motherboard, they stick straight up. And so it makes cable management a little bit more difficult. It's a little bit less clean as the SATA cables are sick sticking straight out. Um, the power supply um, cord for the processor, it's the 8-pin, it's very high on the motherboard, very at the very tip top of the motherboard. And if you have your motherboard um, at the top of the case instead of the power supply, it makes it a little tricky to install, um, particularly because I have fans on the top here. I have two fans at the top, and so that makes it a little bit difficult for installation. And again, it's got a ton of options for USB cables. Uh, it's got a ton of fan headers. I can see at least one ch uh, chassis fan. There's another one back there. So there's a ton of different spots for um, fan ports on the motherboard. There's also a ton of USB ports. So, I mean, this, I think this thing can support up to, like, 10 USB ports. Uh, so I have, like, four on the front panel here. I've got a ton on the back on the motherboard itself, so it's really good. And the BIOS is actually really easy to use. I thought Asus always had the best uh, BIOS, the enhanced BIOS. But I really like the AS Rock BIOS. Again, it's very simple to use. And since I have a non-K processor, stupid mistake when I was first building my computer for the first time, um, I can't overclock it very easily. I can't up the voltage. I can only change um, the, the base clock of it. And this motherboard does it automatically. It's one click non K processor uh, overclocking. And it works really well. Um, I've got this thing up to 4.3 gigahertz. Uh, it's normally 3.4. And so I've been able to really dramatically increase the gigahertz on the processor. I mean, it's a great board. I've had no problems with it. I've been running it for about two weeks now. Um, I've had no problems with it. Very easy to install and very easy to maintain. So I highly recommend this motherboard for your future computer purchases.